when we close a full arch, oftentimes we're doing mattress sutures and then some sort of continuous. The Texas two-step combines both by starting the midline and throwing a mini mattress, or by that I just mean a kind of a skinny mattress. So the, the jump from distal to mesial is uh, minimal. Okay. So a little horizontal mattress suture here. At the midline, we'll go ahead and we'll tie. And I'm going to leave my tail right where it is. We're going to now do a continuous mattress. So we'll move about 7 to 10 millimeters down. We'll bite through the buckle to the lingual. And then from the lingual to the buckle. And we're biting deep or more apical than our future continuous sutures will be. So 7 to 10 millimeters from the marginal tissue. And we're going to walk our way back like a square step all the way to the end of our wound. And usually this is a quadrant. So this is a continuous horizontal mattress. And we're coming back in the buckle. So none of the sutures are crossing over the incision line. You can see these are all mattress style sutures. And as we get near the end, we'll do one more because I want to end on the palatal. So we'll go one more this way because I want to end out the palate or the lingual. Okay. So now we have our mattress on the whole quad, which has no tension across the incision line, but it is everting the tissue, which you can really see here. It's kind of turning the tissue up and allowing us to get a more deep tissue on tissue touch. So we've done our mini mattress tied off and a continuous mattress ending in the distal palatal. And now we're gonna walk back forwards towards the midline with a simple continuous. Being mindful to not go apical of your mattress loops. Okay, so we're going to stay coronal or marginal to the mattress loops, and we'll do a simple continuous. Okay. And so we're just walking our way back, all the way back to the midline. So you get the benefit of the mattresses everting the tissue, approximating the tissue, and relieving the tension. And then you get the continuous for the incision closure and the watertight closure along the top of the ridge of the incision line. Being mindful, like I said, not to bite apical to your original mattresses, otherwise you'll incorporate tension across your mattress, which is what we're trying to avoid. This is a great suture for fixed full arch where there's multi-unit abutments or immediate load abutments and you're trying to get the tissue cinched around them all for an immediate load provisional. And we're just working even spacing all the way back to the midline. And at the end, you can always go back if you see a space that is too, the uh, sutures are too far apart, you can go back and add another simple interrupted or another mattress if you needed to. But you should be able to do it all with one suture if you space it out well. So our final throw here at the midline. And then we're going to tie to the original knot. So we have one, two knots on one spot. Let me tighten that again. Keep our knot on.
on the buckle. All right, and we'll go ahead and cut our tails. And that's a nice way to close a quadrant. The loops of the mattress deep to the final closure over the incision line, the Texas two-step.